through my speech is about the invention of the microwave oven. The microwave oven is an invention that has revolutionized cooking as well as built a multi-million dollar industry. Today, more than 90% of American homes have microwave ovens. Some people use them for cooking frozen foods, others for just heating up popcorn for movie night. The American lifestyle, most people are always on the go, and this leaves not a lot of time for cooking. So this is where the microwave has made its mark in society, by being able to make meals within minutes. But how did this amazing appliance come to be? The story of the invention is actually interesting because it wasn't invented by somebody trying to find out how, um, a faster way to cook. It was, a, it was an accident. Back in 1940, during World War II, two scientists were working on a device called the magnetron. Now this device was used to send microwaves and that would bounce off of enemy warcraft and then to identify the location. In this case, in World War II, the magnetron was used to send microwaves off of German warcraft to identify the location. In 1946, after the war, uh, a Raytheon company engineer named Dr. Percy Spencer was working on this magnetron device when he noticed something different. He was working, he had a chocolate bar in his pocket and decided to pull the chocolate bar out to eat. However, he noticed that the chocolate bar had melted. Now, this was interesting to Dr. Spencer because the only thing he was working on was a magnetron. So he decided to test it further. So with the melted chocolate, he then went and got some popcorn kernels. And so he then placed the popcorn kernels in front of the magnetron and stood back and watched in amazement as the popcorn kernels began popping and cooking all over the place. This is when Dr. Spencer knew he was on to something. So the very next morning, Dr. Spencer and one of his colleagues decided to further test the magnetron. So they brought and placed an egg in front of the magnetron. They melted the chocolate and popped the kernels. Let's see if they could cook an egg. So they placed the egg and they stood back and watched as the egg cooked. The colleague was so fascinated, he decided to get a closer look. Sure enough, splat. The egg exploded all over the colleague's face. Dr. Spencer knew that he had just found something special. So Dr. Spencer uh, went into creating the first microwave oven. It started, he built a, a metal box into which he fed microwave energy. Now the microwave energy could not leave the metal box. So when you place food inside the metal box, the microwave energy will bounce around and go into the food and cook it and heat it up rapidly. This was the basis for the very first microwave oven. Dr. Spencer gave his patent idea to engineers who then, in 1947, created the very first commercial microwave oven and placed it in a Boston restaurant for testing. Now this wasn't your normal microwave oven. The very first microwave oven stood six feet tall and weighed about 800 pounds. Yeah, we're talking about larger than most refrigerators that we have today. The price also of the microwave oven was extremely high. It started off at $5,000, the very first microwave oven. That's the price of a new or used car. A new car back in that time, a used car today. So over the next 20 years, between 1950 and 1970, the microwave oven um, evolved and more efficient and lightweight ovens were made. The food industry began to realize the untapped potential of this invention, so they began to use microwave ovens through industry nationwide. Microwave ovens were being used to defrost meats, anything from drying ceramics and drying paper. So, the microwave oven was finally beginning to garner some demand. Between 1952 and 1955, a company called Tapan created the very first home microwave oven. Now, while this model was significantly smaller than the original model, it was still steeply priced at $1,300. In 1965, a modern refrigeration, the microwave model that you and I know today, so a more safe, safe and reliable model. Now, with the sudden growth of the microwave oven, people were starting to have fears and doubts as to its, safe, its safety and reliability. There was the idea that the radiation of the microwave oven could cause harm over time. But by the 1970s, most people decided that the pros outweighed the cons. As fears faded, doubt became demand. By 1975, over 17% of all homes in Japan had a microwave oven, compared to only 4% in America. And by the very next year, in 1976, over 52 million homes, or 60% of American homes, had a microwave oven. Now that's a 4%, that's a jump from 4% to 60%. So as you saw, an appliance that was known as a luxury to the rich and famous was now um, a necessity for the modern world. With an ever-demanding market, there was a microwave, there was microwave ovens to fit any kitchen. Now that was the past and the present, but what about the future? Well, now they're talking about building microwaves with even more features and more technology. 
So the microwave oven that they're talking about coming out will have YouTube technology on a screen, so you'll be able to watch your own clips and listen to songs while you're cooking your food. So the microwave oven has evolved a lot since 1946, and I'm sure it'll evolve a lot more over the next 50 years. Thank you. Wow.